Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. My name is Jesse Kulikon Hoff. We are here at the Denver Science Museum checking out a nonprofit called Solar Rollers. Solar Rollers puts on a high school competition for aspiring engineers, uh, scientists, whatever have you. And they have these kids, high school students, they build a solar array and then they put it on top of a little race car and they get to race it around a check. Uh, they have top speed competitions, they have a, a race at solar noon to see who can go the longest on a on the charge of the sun, and it's a really cool competition. I want to show you guys all about it. All right, there's the race track that we built last night. I got a good time lapse of this. And the kids are racing back and forth. We also have a part of the competition where they have to answer a lot of questions about their build. Here's some of the cars right here. And girls' backup battery. This is the one we might practice with right now if you want to. And then we have our all-out top speed. Uh, right there. Hey, see the backup. Yep. Okay. Grab the backup. Boys, backup. Thank you. All right, and here we got our little build room. The teams are scrambling to uh, put last touches on their cars. All right, we're just about to start our top speed event. There's our radar gun. We're doing a top speed test. Mache is going to see how fast this car can go. 31, I saw. KPH, kilometers per hour. Woo! 28 kph, that's about 28. 17 miles per hour. Going for a high school coming in, hot! 31 kph, Ooh. 35, new record! Woo. One problem we got with the solar roller base is there's no sun, but we're hoping it's clearing up. Let's go going for it, guys. So this is our PV Direct race. Once again, the batteries are not in the car right now. And we're just using the power of the sun to power these little vehicles. But since there's really no sun today, it's kind of cloudy. It's going to be a slow race, but it's okay. Crazy go! Woo, and they're off! Unbelievable! TV Direct! <laughs> oh, what is this? No batteries in these cars, ladies and gentlemen. These cars are just moving by the power of the sun alone. This is our little watt meter. You can see what the sun's producing right now. It's pretty dismal. On a good day, that'll be about a thousand watts per square meter. Meter squared, it's about 190 right now with this cloud cover. So, the fact that these cars have been running for a good 40 minutes is pretty impressive. Okay. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! Nine, oh, nine one. Summit Tigers two second. 
Huskies 2, 15, 14 laps accordingly. Longhorn 14. 20 seconds to go. Cheer them on. Let's get them to the end here. 15 seconds. Keep on going. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And that is time, drivers. One hour of solar racing. Here it is. Your winner, Rory Borkai, got 319 laps in. 319 laps an hour. Summit Tigers got 282. Mount Huskies got 239. Huskies 214. Magic Lowers got 153 laps in here. Summit Tigers got uh, 1 got 107. And Summit Tigers 3 got 52. Congratulations to all the solar rollers for your incredible work here today, in spite of the fact we don't have sunshine. Let's come on over and get our trophies. Just want to acknowledge your hard work. Two years ago I was with you in Glenwood. It was a sunny day that day. And here we are today where we're making up for the lack of sun, but congratulations to all of your hard work. This is one of the most important programs that's being done in our school systems. We need to do it statewide. So I served eight years in the Colorado State Senate, and this is an opportunity for us to introduce programs like this because solar is your future.